Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we will focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Hitin Desai, and I'm an engineering manager at GCP. Today, we will be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How can I control access to my web apps and VMs in GCP without VPN? Let's jump into the demo. My company has built this new web application called Bookstore, which we have hosted on GCP. We want to give access to this application to internal employees without using VPN. Let's say I'm Bob. As Bob, I'm going to access this application. I'm going to use the browser to access the application. I have this application bookmarked. So I'm just going to go to this bookstore application. It lets me log in. I need to enter my password. And voila, I have access to this application. Let's try another user, Alice. She also goes and accesses this application, again, without using VPN directly. So here comes Alice. I'm going to enter the password, and looks like Alice does not have access to this web application. Let's find out why. So if you go to GCP admin console, under security, there is a product called identity aware proxy. So this web application is behind identity aware proxy. And here is this web application displayed. If I look here, I see that only Bob has access to this application, along with a bunch of other users. But Alice does not have access to this application. In case of Bob, I also see an interesting access condition here called Mac OS version. Let's dig deeper into it. If I go under Access Context Manager on the left side, here you can select the project and let me find out the access level called Mac OS version. And what it says is, for Bob to access this application, Bob needs to make sure that his Mac OS version needs to be at least 10.14.5. And based on the data, we know that Bob's Mac OS version is 10.14.5. Let's say there is a security issue with 10.14.5, and we want all of our users who access this application to at least have 10.14.6 as the minimum Mac OS version. Let's go and edit this access level in Access Context Manager and change the Mac OS version from 10.14.5 to 10.14.6. And let's save this access level. Now let's also go to Access Context Manager to look at what are other resources that you can control access to. So along with HTTP resources, you can look here under SSH and TCP resources. This lists all the virtual machines. And you can control access to VMs for both SSH and RDP, just similar to any web applications. Now, let's go back to Bob and see whether Bob still has access to this application or not. Because Bob is running 10.14.5, and we have changed our minimum Mac OS version to 10.14.6. Looks like Bob does not have access to this application anymore. This shows how you can use Google's context server access to control access to your web applications and VMs on GCP without using VPN. Thank you for listening in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud experts. Mm -hmm.